Hey, what's up everybody? Joshua Casper back at you with Plugin Boutique. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to use the individual outputs for the different drum samples inside of any one of the Beatmaker instruments from New Jam. All three of the instruments, Eden, Dope, and Hustle got upgraded to version two, and they now come with individual outputs for each one of the drums inside of the kits. So I'm gonna show you how to set that up and tell you about why it's important to be able to do that and why it's a great upgrade feature. So I have Eden on a track here inside of Ableton Live, and if I hold down C3, I'm getting my standard kind of four to the floor with a little bit of a tom there in the middle. And that's all well and good. If I come up the keyboard a little bit, I'm getting a fuller drum kit. So what I wanna do inside of Ableton Live is I'm just gonna add some MIDI. I'm gonna come in to my pen tool and just add a MIDI note right across there. So what if I had a super big 808 bass? So let me go ahead and add that real quick. And let's say I wanna side chain it to the kick drum on my Eden instrument. Right now, there's a lot more going on. There's that tom hit, there are hi-hats, and if I go the normal method of taking my audio effect, put my compressor on there, coming into sidechain, and then choosing Eden, I'll then have to use my EQ here to shave off the high end. But you'll see here inside of the threshold, there's a VU meter. You can actually see that uh, we're still hearing other elements of the track. So it's getting pretty close there, but it's not perfect and we don't have full control. So what I want to do is add another audio track in my project here. I want to come back into Eden and inside of Eden, there are two different kick slots. There's C1 and C sharp one are both kicks. If I preview them by clicking them. So I got two kicks there. So in fact, I probably want to add two instrument tracks, but let me set up the first one to begin with. So where it says exit in, I want to come down to Eden. And then where it says post mixer, I want to come into out two. And then I want to set the monitor to in. And then I want to duplicate that track. And then just come here where it says out two, I want to go to out three. I'm going to jump back into Eden. And now each one of these drum hits inside of this drum kit has an individual or master output selector. So I'm on this first kick. Just select it by clicking it. I'm going to go to individual. And if I come up to the second kick, you'll see that this is going to the master. But again, I don't want that. I want to go to individual. So now I've got both of my kicks, no matter what preset I'm using, uh, are going to be pumped to specific output channels inside of my DAW. So if I come in, That one kick from that preset is being pumped into audio three. So let me go ahead and rename this. I'm going to name it kick two, and I'm going to rename this one kick one. So now I want to come into my hip hop bass, and instead of Eden, I want to come to kick one, adjust my threshold, pull down the release, and then I want to duplicate this. And instead of kick one, go to click kick two. And now I have no matter which kick Eden is using for the preset, it's going to be side chained for my bass channel. I'm gonna pull down the threshold too. And if I turn my bass back on, yes, it's a much cleaner mix now. If I come back into operator and maybe pull over the release here, So now that I have this all set up, I can come back into Eden and flip through the different presets and change the different mixes and the different kits until I find something that I like. So let's just go ahead and change the entire mix here a couple of times. All right, this is an example. This particular preset, Transnation, is using the first kick, but because we've already duplicated the compressor down here and set up all the routing, we don't need to worry about it. Our bass is still gonna be sidechained no matter which kick is being used by the preset. Of course, we can come in and change the kits here as well. And 
and we could change the mix of those presets easily enough. And we have all the other functionality of Eden set up no matter what we do, we're still gonna get our bass sidechain to whatever kick pattern we have, whether it's four to the floor, whether it's a break beat, whether it's using the first or the second kick of the kit, no matter what we do, we'll always have sidechain bass. Now this is great for sidechaining bass, but this is also great for, let's say I wanna use my own personal reverb on you know, this tom. I can now route this tom individually to its own channel, set it up inside of my DAW, and then use whatever reverb I want or saturator or compressor, so on and so forth. It doesn't have to be just for sidechaining bass, but it can be useful for any sort of processing you wanna do on an individual drum inside of the kit instead of the entire kit itself. Big updates from Beatmaker. This isn't the only video I'm gonna be doing on it, so if you wanna check out more, make sure to check out Plugin Boutique's YouTube channel. And if you wanna check out more specifically about the Beatmaker series or Eden itself, go ahead and click the link in the video description to find out more. Anyway, I'm Joshua Casper here for Plugin Boutique. I hope you learned something and I'll see you in the next video. <laughs>